everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Last week we learned how to crochet a simple granny square using one color and this week we are going to learn how to add some color to our granny squares and uh, t this week we're going to learn how to crochet a simple granny square using multiple colors. So adding on um, our yarn into our square. So grab a hook and some yarn and uh, let's get started. I'm going to be using the Lion Brand ZZ Twist yarn along with a 6 millimeter crochet hook. So once again, thank you so much for joining, and uh, if it's your first time to my channel, feel free to take a look around. The tutorial for the single color granny square can be found among my playlists there, and I will uh, try and link it for you in the notes to this video. Now, as I mentioned, we're going to be doing a multiple colored granny square today. So what you need to do is select three colors of yarn. I will be working with this green, this pink, and this blue. And you're going to decide which color you would like uh, to come first. And in, when working granny squares, you always work from the center out, okay? So you're going to start by taking your first color. My first color I'm going to use is this green. And we're going to start it very much in the same way as we started our simple granny square. Make your slip knot. Then using your crochet hook, you're going to start with a chain of five. Then being careful not to twist your chain, you're going to join your, yarn, uh, join your two ends together. Join your chain um, in that first chain with a slip stitch to make a ring. Just like so. You're now going to start your granny square, you're going to chain three, and your chain three always counts as a double crochet stitch. Next, you're going to work two double crochet stitches into the center of your ring. And chain two. Your chain two will form your granny square corners. Next, you will work three double crochet stitches into the center of your ring. Chain two. Next, work three more double crochet stitches into the center of your ring. chain two, and finally work three final double crochet stitches into the center of your ring. Now you'll want to work your final corner, so chain two, and then you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that first chain three. Now if we were continuing on with this color, we would slip stitch in each stitch across and into our next uh, chain two corner and then continue to work our granny square and that's explained in the simple single colored granny square tutorial. But since we want to add a new color, we're simply at this point going to fasten off. So simply pull your string through and use your scissors to fasten off like so. We're now going to want to join our second color. So for my second color I am going to use my, uh, let's do blue. The fun thing about granny squares is that you can mix and match and do a zillion different color combos um, and uh, alternate the different colors uh, in different squares. So I'm going to use my blue and I want to join it to my square. So I'm going to insert my hook into my chain two space. I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to drop a loop. And then I'm going to, now I like to um, pull through both. So we're basically joining with a slip stitch. So I like to pick up both strands, both the short one and the longer one and pull it through. I feel like it makes just a little bit of a tighter join 
and then I'm going to pull that tight. So that's our join with a slip stitch. We're then going to join uh, chain three to start off this section of double crochet stitches. Pull that tight again, and you should have a nice strong join. Now at this point, I like to work over top of my tail end here that is sticking out, again, just to make it a little bit more secure. So we're going to continue working our grinding square. We're going to work two more double crochet stitches. And because this is our corner, we're going to chain two. And then working into that same chain two space down below, you're going to work three more double crochet stitches. Next, you're going to skip the three double crochets there in between. And in your next corner stitch, you're going to work three double crochets. Chain two. Followed by three more double crochet stitches. Skip the next set of three double crochet stitches and then in your next chain two corner space you're going to repeat what you just did. Three double crochet, chain two, and three double crochet. You're going to continue uh, to do that all the way around your square so after this we're going to repeat that one more time. So skip that next set of three. Work three double crochet stitches, chain two and three more. And then when you come back to your first set of three double crochets there. You will skip the three in between, your chain three, and then your other two double crochets. And then in the top of your chain three of that first set, you're going to join your yarn with a slip stitch. Now again, you could continue working on uh, with that same color as you would before, or you can fasten off and add another color. Then you're going to continue working your granny square pretty much the same way as uh, you worked that. You can make it as colorful as you would like and uh, as big as you would like. But go ahead and work that next round of your granny square and uh, then meet me back here and I will we will uh, weave in our ends together. Okay, so now, I've, now I have worked my third round of my granny square. Uh, and again, if you are wondering a little bit more in depth of how to work that round and any other round following, take a look at that other video. I really slow it down uh, for you. Now, once you have worked your granny square, uh, to the size that you would like you're going to turn it over and you're going to look and see that you have all of these ends And that is the downside of working a granny square in multiple colors um, There are ends to weave in uh, Maybe you love to weave in your ends. I'm not a huge fan of, uh, of Doing it, but it is work that must be done. So we must do it in order to finish our project uh, if you have any tips for weaving in your ends, uh, maybe something that kind of gets you through this long and arduous uh, process, please let me know down in the comments and I'd love, I, I'm sure that others would love to hear as well how you make it through that final step of weaving in your ends. So what I'm going to do is I'll just show you quickly, uh, now that we've finished our square, I'm going to take my yarn needle and I'm going to weave in my ends. Now how I like to do it uh, varies depending on the uh, project that I'm working on, but for my granny squares, I like to keep my colors uh, coordinating with the colors under
underneath because I don't want to have say a green thread kind of woven up here showing through my blue I want to keep my colors together and all I do is I simply I like to I find it easy just to weave it kind of in through um, these corners and these rounds and I just pull it through once there and then I double back I want it to be fairly secure okay and then because my granny squares don't and these ones aren't going to take a lot of wear that's all I will do but I might double back again if I felt like this was something that was going to get a lot of use out of and then you're just going to clip your tail give it a little bit of room so that when your fabric stretches it will pull the tail in completely okay and then you're just going to continue to do that uh, with all of your little tails simply tuck them in and again I like to keep my colors corresponding with one another so that they don't show through uh, as easily So just like that, go through and weave in all of your ends. And it may seem a little tedious, but when you come to your final one and weave it in and then take a look at your final product, it will be well worth it. left and the more color that you put into your granny square the more these little tails you are gonna have there we are and one more These ones on the edge, I kind of like to weave down through a stitch and then into my corner again. And there you have it. That is your granny square made with multiple colors. So thank you so much for joining me. Please don't forget to subscribe and uh, I would love to see you back again. And uh, once again there, make a, make a note or a comment in the comments. Uh, how do you get through that process of weaving in your ends? Until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.